Even though we went to multiple stores, I'm surprised we didn't get that much this week. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole if you are new. Thanks so much for clicking on today's weekly grocery haul. We did the Walmart pickup, Sam's pickup. We ran into Target, to Walmart, and Rouse's for the things that we needed this week. I tried to keep it minimum. I've been trying to do that. We have so much on hand we need to work through. So that's why I've been skipping the salvage store because even though there's great deals over there, I feel like I go crazy and then we have so much in the pantry we need to work through. So let me take you down to the counter and show you what we picked up for our essentials this week. First stop this week is not the salvage store. I had a dentist appointment today. I decided not to go to the salvage store because we have so much on hand. However, I was in town, so I stopped at Walmart and ran in, even though I'm doing a pickup because these things were out of stock, are low, not guaranteed, and I went to Target, and y'all know I never go to Target because it's out of the way. So for Walmart, I spent a total of $12.46, and then at Target, can you believe these three things, well, including the Starlight Coke Zero, was $22, like OMG, the prices of things, it's insane. So we are next level obsessed with the A&W Zero Sugar Root Beer, so I got two of those because at the place that I pick up, it said it was out of stock. I actually went to my other Walmart today. I mentioned before that I go through the plastic forks and spoons because Trey with his autism, he's in a kick with throwing our silverware away, and I have like no real silverware. So until he gets out of this trend, I'm not going to replenish for him to keep throwing it away so that's why we're doing that and then I did put one of these in my pickup so hopefully I get it but it said it was low in stock so I got the cherry coke zero didn't have it last week and I was missing it something fierce so that's what I picked up at Walmart just in case my pickup doesn't pan out we haven't hauled the baby bell cheeses in a while and let me tell you these jokers were seven dollars and 39 cents a pack what the actual hell it has went up so so much we got the light and we got the reduced fat mozzarella these are 50 calories each it's great for cutting and my husband he loves these with his lunches and we are totally out so i got those but it pained me because man twenty dollars basically for all this that's next level insane so we got some blueberries i mentioned i wasn't going to do them because i have the frozen ones but we only have half a bag of the frozen ones left and i love the texture that's my jam of the real blueberries and then i can never find the zero starlight coke and they had them in the little display thing when i was checking out so you know i had to get one i think it tastes like skittles like a lot of people say cotton candy vanilla fruity flavors it tastes like straight up skittles to me and i actually like it so that's what we had for our little run-in pickups before we do our actual grocery pickup real quick ten dollar run into whole foods twelve dollar run into rouse's and can you believe we only spent forty dollars at the walmart grocery pickup like what I'm very proud of myself because usually we get things that we don't actually need, but we did need some of these Sam's Choice Sweet Hawaiian Rolls. Y'all know I love these. We are making Elise Ellis' Big Mac sliders. That's from her April 2022 meal plan. We've already made them once. I love them that much. I'm making them again. We love these because they are 70 calories for one roll, so we had to have those. I really don't need any rice cakes, all right? That's one thing I don't really need, but just in case, I, have a, I am upping my calories next week, and I am upping the quantity of food and I wanted to make sure we had enough and I love these Quaker caramel ones y'all know I like the great value ones too but I like these I think the flavor just a little bit more the texture I like on the great value ones. so got those since they had them in stock they never have them this is one thing I'm probably going to do a return on today's the 21st it says best used by the 22nd and it is all wilty and looking pretty gross at the bottom so that's a fail Sometimes they do great with the produce, like you're gonna see in a minute, and sometimes they don't, but they have a great customer service where you can just return stuff and get your money for things that may not be the best when they picked it. They may have picked it early, let it sit, whatever the case. Fair Life milk is a must for recipes and for cereal for the boys. Glad they gave me green bananas because I have probably the same amount right now on hand that we need to go through. They're like spotted and ready to go. So I didn't go crazy with the bananas, but you know, we need them. Got some grapes for the boys. I actually wasn't gonna get them because we have probably half a package from last week and I forgot to take it out my cart, but that's okay. That'll be one of their fresh fruit choices for the week. I'm gonna be making Lauren here at Lois Lane. She made some turkey meatball subs. That's what I'm gonna be making next week for lunch. They look freaking easy and delicious. And I needed some mozzarella fat-free cheese. Y'all haven't seen me haul the fat-free in forever. The reason why I got this one versus the Velveeta is because this one has a little bit more protein. Trying to up that protein game a little bit where we can. The turkey meatballs are great from great value as far as macros. 
six of them is just 140 calories, nine fat, five net carbs, and 14 grams of protein. I was looking at some at Target and the calories were like way higher for less meatballs. So this one's pretty good as far as the quantity and the macros. Trey's out of pimento cheese with jalapenos. If you know, you know, he will only eat this. Palmetto, Pawsley's Island, whatever brand, that's the only one he will eat, but I, I will admit it is pretty damn good. I did get one box of the Barilla Protein Pasta. We do have some on hand, but I think I'm running low of the penne. And this was a buck 98 surprise because it's hard to find number one at my store. And number two, when I could find it, it was million dollars. So nice to see that this is going down. And they do have the other shapes that you can get shipped. I wanted the macaroni ones, but it fell through and I couldn't get them online. So I just got that one to tide us over. Y'all saw me already haul the Coke Zero Cherry. Again, I had this in my cart just in case the other one, but you know, I'll drink them. So that's not going to be a waste. So that's everything I got for $40. I know not much though. $40, right? Saint? $40 at Walmart. We did run into Rouse's is the only place I can find that sells the Chobani Zero Sugar in the big tubs like this. It is expensive, but I have big yogurt bowls on the meal plan for snack all next week. And I love this because it's lower in calories, still high in protein. And I can add my American dream and other things with extra calories that way with more toppings. So I got two of those. Those definitely will not go to waste, but $12 for two tubs of freaking yogurt. And this was an impulse buy. I went in just for this organic Thai jasmine white rice. I love this frozen one so much. I wish Whole Foods was closer because I would buy this one versus the ones you've seen me haul before. I got this specifically for tonight. We're making Elise Ellis's shrimp fried rice. It's one of her 2021 meal plans. I'll try to have it. It was in last week's video as far as the meal plan, where it came from. But I forgot I didn't have any of this on hand. And yes, I could use some of the ones that I have. But this frozen rice, it just works so well with the fried rice. I've already made the beef fried rice with it, and it's perfect. So wanted to go ahead and get it. It's 210 calories for 142 grams, which is a cup. You've got four grams of protein, zero fat. And the price on this is pretty good. These are only $3.19 a piece, so not bad. And then while I was in there, they had all their Siete stuff on sale. And I do like this Chipotle barbecue one. These were only like $2 and some change for each one, like $2.99 with the discount, which is really good. Y'all know these are usually like almost $5 for this little bitty bag. I do like the late July brand. So if you have those near you and they're cheaper, you do get more quantity and more bang for your buck. Macros are the same and they taste legit as well. So that's what we got from our run into Whole Foods, Rouse's, Walmart, Sam's Club, $63 Sam's Club drive up real quick. $63 includes some Banderita carb counter street, not the street tacos, but the 45 calorie ones. They don't have them in club, but they were able to ship them. So that was kind of weird, but you had to buy them in increments of two. So that was like $10 for that. Everything else is the rest of the $63. Lots of fresh stuff. I got a bunch of English cucumbers because I'm gonna slice those up with some skinny girl syrup on the side of lunch this week. Y'all know I've been loving the fresh blueberries and they are way cheaper to buy at Sam's than anywhere else. This big package was like less than $6. They want $6 plus for the little mini win at the other stores, it's nuts. We haven't gotten fresh strawberries in a long time and look how big, delicious, and juicy these look. I cannot wait. That's gonna be for the boys and for myself this week. Excited, because we haven't had them. And then I did get some more of the snipped green beans. I love these in the air fryer last week. They were so good and they were such a hit with everybody. So I went ahead and got another bag. I have not seen this before. Y'all know I love the burger blend, the little one that you can get from Walmart, but it's like a barbecue summer seasonal thing and they haven't had it and I went through it a while ago, but I saw this was brand new, Kinder's Caramelized Onion Burger Blend. Oh my gosh, yes, please. You know, I love all the Kinder ones. There's a million of them now. You could definitely go crazy if you wanted to, but I know this is gonna be fire and ground meat and all the things, so I had to pick that up to try. I've been loving the pulled chicken for recipes. It's just so easy. It is going up in price though, along with all chicken, apparently because of the bird flu. So that is a bummer and probably cheaper to go another route. But I mean, it's for convenience and I'll pay the extra dollar, I guess. And then last but not least, we got some flushable wipes. Yes, don't tell me all the things. I know we've been buying these. We love them. Hashtag boys, we have to have them. So you get 540 wipes nine packs for the price and this is the fresh scent i don't care that's what we got for oh boys we, we've got to have that like if they don't have a flushable wipe they they're like bougie and spoiled i'm telling you so that's everything we got from sam's club for the online grocery pickup we got some carb counter tortillas on the way so that's going to do it for this weekly grocery haul please give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these grocery hauls here on my channel that helps me out so much and i appreciate when you do so if you are new don't forget to hit all the bells and whistles before you leave make sure the bell is 
is clicked so you're notified every time I upload a new video here. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope y'all have an awesome day and an awesome week and we'll see you next week with another grocery haul. I've already got my cart loaded and ready to pick up already. Every single week, y'all. It just keeps on revolving. Y'all have a good one. Bye.